Crafty Meraki friends and welcome back to the Crafty Meraki YouTube channel. My name is Deepa from Designs by D and today I have some quick Christmas cards to create using the EAPs that came out in the last release and I'm going to be using them to create quick and easy cards. These are light, bright and airy cards. They're very beautiful and classy looking and um, I haven't really used the Evergreen Elegance EAPs too much yet so I really wanted to get some use out of those in these cards. So these are all the products we're going to be using for this card or these three cards. Um, as I mentioned, here's the Evergreen Elegance EAPs. You can see there are four different um, color schemes for all of those gorgeous foliage bits. Then I'm also going to be using the Festive Flora Wreath EAPs, and I'm mainly using these for the sentiments, although there is that beautiful wreath in another four different color combos. Now you will need the coordinating dies to cut all of these out. And I'm also going to be using the Diamond Dazzle foil plate in the background on these cards for just a real subtle and classy looking background. Now, in order to get this classy look that I'm going on about, I love using the, um, this is the Spellbinders Opal Foil. It gives a really nice hint of, hint of foiling to your background. And it just, it shines all the different colors of the rainbow. Now, the only thing with this, um, foil or type of foil is you really got to be careful to use the right side because it looks the same on both sides so normally you'll have like a solid foil so you know exactly which is your pretty side you have to keep track of it here and you can tell that you can see when I was holding it in my hands it kind of curves up to follow the curve of the roll now you have to make sure that you put it in now if you see if you pay attention to the way I put it in here I actually put it in the wrong way and ended up foiling my plate this here I corrected it and did it the right way and I foiled my background which was what I want so I'm just foiling three panels of white cardstock here these are a2 size and I'm actually going to cut them down just slightly so I'm cutting about a quarter inch off of each side, not all four sides, but from the length and the width in order to allow for a small border around this panel when I put it onto the card base. So now I'm going to grab a few of these um, Evergreen Elegance Foliage EAPs. And I've picked um, the green, the darker green, there's like a yellow green, a darker green. Um, there are some blue ones, but that I will leave for another project. And then I've also got the ones that have like more fall type colors. So once I've got those and I've cut them all out with the coordinating die, I'll keep those aside. And now I'm just going to use the die for the Festive Flora wreath. And I'm just going to cut out one of these, any one, it doesn't matter, because all I want are the sentiments from this. And I can keep that wreath aside for another project. So all of the extra die cuts that I have, I just kind of grab a container and store them in there for use on um, later projects. And they, they come in handy because, you know, you cut them out once, this these great dies they're one piece dies that cut out everything in one go like look at all of those foliage pieces i got just from three sheets so only three times through my die cutting machine so so that in itself is amazing and that's how you get these cards to come together quickly now i'm only putting together three cards to give you three design ideas but there's so many more that you could create with all of these pieces so once you've got like a few of these cut out all you have to do is pretty much sit and assemble it's kind of like a card kit in a sense so I'm kind of putting together like a bushel of foliage to kind of create the bottom portion of my card and then I'm going to grab the winter wishes sentiments and I will actually foil those and add that to the background. Now to keep those um, pieces in place I'm using some press and seal. Now I never used to use the press and seal. I used to see other designers use it and think, oh, not a big deal. I'll just piece it together. But it makes all the difference. It saves so much time. And once you've kind of organized your foliage bits in the way that you'd like, this just holds everything together so nicely. Not to mention, you can uh, you can see I used a bit of washi tape and tape to kind of attach the branches together. And then I also am adding some foam adhesive to the back 
so that I can just basically attach this to my card and then lift off the press and seal. Now there will be bits that might not be 100% adhered and you might have to stick them down with some liquid glue or a tape runner afterwards because you have layered them. So you kind of miss some of the layers, but it gets the majority of it down and keeps your main um, design intact, which I really like. So just be careful when removing it. You can see I got a couple of those pieces at the top that didn't fully adhere because they're smaller but that's totally fine. I just grab my liquid glue and I just tuck those in where they were once were. It's easier to reposition maybe a couple pieces versus the entire um, bushel of foliage. So I've actually cut off a bit of the stem there for those berries and then attached it. Now for the sentiments, remember this is a toner, printed with toner. So you can foil it, but you have to use the deco foil. And I like using the deco foil with the glimmer machine, even though it is a hot foil machine. So I use a solid plate and I place down the deco foil. I put the die cuts on top and then I'll heat it in the same way you would heat the plate for hot foiling. And then I just peel off the images and you can see it foils flawlessly every single time which is why I like it and I tend to have a lot of issues with my laminator it doesn't really get as hot as it should and this works perfectly myself and the other crafty Meraki designers have like a few videos um, you can find within the um, crafty Meraki channel that kind of go over this technique and it's just a great way to get perfect foley sorry perfect foiling every time with the deco foil and it also eliminates the need for the laminator, which is just an extra machine I don't have to get out because I always have my um, glimmer machine on my table anyways. And, you know, I'm using the glimmer machine. You could also use the, uh, the is it the Gemini? There's another hot foil machine. I always forget what it's called, but you could use any hot foiling machine for this as long as you have a solid plate. So I've just added some foam adhesive to the back of those sentiments and added it to the card. Very simple. Now all I'm doing is finishing it off with five, only five gems. Now I am using the gold gems, which were released with this release as well, which go perfectly with um, the sentiment because the sentiment was done in gold. I know it is hard to see here. The video does not capture the gold as good as it is in real life. Even the pictures, it looks like it's black. I'm so sorry about that. I tried my best trying to um, to take pictures during the day and with lighting. <clears throat> sorry. And it just, it wasn't, um, it wasn't picking up that beautiful foiling. So I'm so sorry you can't see the... Um, the foiling in the pictures, but you can kind of get a glimpse of it when I move the card around in this video. So for my second card design, I'm actually grabbing a shape. So you can use any die for any simple shape. I'm using a diamond here and I've cut out some gold um, cardstock here, some gold mirror cardstock, and that's just gonna be the center of my card and kind of bring your eye into the center being the focal point. So you could use this type of design as well. I kept it simple on the first one. I just added a bush. Now on here, I'm using the shape of this die cut to kind of figure out where I want to put my branches. So I'm kind of lining the branches up along the top left and right edges of that diamond. And you could use any shape you like. You could use a circle, so you could kind of arch the branches around the edge of an oval or a circle, or you could use a square and have them in opposite corners. And I find that using these simple shapes really helps you um, kind of develop your design and using the EAPs with the shapes really comes in handy. So this is just one design using the diamond. You could use various other shapes and put together a whole set of cards that kind of coordinate as well. So I'm trying to stick these berries in there, but I'm noticing I do have to cut the stem off again. So I'm going to add... Um, a foam square and attach that to the center there and then I'll grab the Fala La greeting there which I thought just went really nicely and it wasn't going to cover up too much of that gold diamond in the center and now I'm actually going to foil this with some red deco foil now I'm trying my best to say deco foil as much as possible because I know I showed that glimmer machine and I don't want you to get confused between using the deco foil and hot foils because we also did some hot foiling with glimmer foil as well. So glimmer foil for the glimmer machine and deco foil when you're foiling the sentiments, okay, for the toner. And so now that I've got that nicely foiled, I'm going to go ahead and add it 
with a bit of foam adhesive again. And that is the next simple design. So the only thing left to do here is to attach this to my white A2 size card base. And I think I kind of ran out of my adhesive here, so I grabbed a replacement. And now I'm going to attach it. And the last step, can we guess what it is? You know, it's always the same thing with me. It's bling. We have to add some bling. So I'm going to grab my new crafty Meraki bling buddy, and I'm going to use that to attach some red gems. Now, again, these gems are matching with the sentiment. So you'll notice if you do happen to see the color of the foiling on my lettering, um, that I tend to match the gems with the color of the foil on the letters. And this just kind of brings everything together. It allows the colors to match and it makes it look a little more um, cohesive. So for the last card, I've actually foiled Season's Greetings ahead of time with some green foil. And for this one, I'm just going to do another bunch of foliage, but this time instead of it being kind of like at the bottom there as like kind of a platform for my letters, I'm going to have it off to the right side and just put my sentiment on the left side sorry have it off to the left side and put my sentiment on the right side so this time instead of using the um the press and seal it was only like four or five branches actually there's only three here three branches and then the berries and then i'm trying to stick another one in there i don't think the yellow works so well so um in the end i think i grab a branch and don't forget you can cut these up you don't have to use the whole branch you can maybe use half of it part of it it's completely up to you so i'm just cutting a portion of it off and i'm going to attach it behind there and it just uh, creates more variation in the color of the branches and makes it a bit more full so i'll attach that there and then all i have to do is attach my sentiment again a very simple and easy card and i think that that foiling on the white background there really like just it's kind of like the icing on the cake. It just looks really nice. It goes really well with the foliage. And I think the white backdrop just looks really, really nice with these. So I'll go ahead and attach the sentiment with some more foam adhesive. And then again, all I have left to do is to add my gems. So this time I'm going to match the sentiment the green foil on the sentiment with some green gems which were also released with the last release now that i popped it on my card all i have to do is add those gems and i'm done now if you feel this is a bit too simple or you want to add a little bit more texture to it you could always add some since we're using foliage here and these are Christmas cards, you can simulate snow. Maybe use some texture paste, add some texture paste to the leaves to create a snow look. You could add, um, I think there's that sugar, that um, that mica sugar, I forget what it's called, but Tim Holtz has that. You could add that as well. Create some a frosty look with it. It's really up to you wh which way you want to go. So these are the three cards that I have for you today. I hope you like at least one of these three bright and airy designs to um, use in your crafting and put together some quick, sorry, some quick Christmas cards using these EAPs, which they are absolutely perfect for. And I don't know if you know, but we're really coming close to Christmas now. What is this now? I think my video goes live December 2nd. So that means there's only 22 days left. Well, if you count Christmas itself, then there's 23. But there's really only 22 days left until Christmas. So I hope that you had some time to do some crafting and make some Christmas cards. And I hope you liked this video. So don't forget to like and subscribe. And everything used in this video is linked in the description below. Have a great weekend. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.